Are you enjoying that, Twilight Sparkle? The Sparpony asked in a strangely self-satisfied tone. Oh yes, Celestia, yes! Twilight gasped with involuntary heat. Then perhaps you will also enjoy as the body slide. Having finished with the cracking of Twilight's back, Bubbly was resting her haunches on the unicorn pony's rump. A body slide? What in Equestria was a body slide? Twilight wondered. But since it was courtesy of the spa, she muttered yes. It couldn't hurt, could it? Bubbly climbed off the table, and taking Twilight's hoof in her own, she led her to the mud lying nearby. Twilight looked at the mud nervously. Uh, what should I do? I have never... I have never had a body slide before. Bubbly smiled. Oh, it is simplicity itself, Miss Twilight. All you need to do is lie down on your dummy. I shall do the rest. Twilight lay down as directed, and then she turned her head about to see what Bubbly was doing. The spa pony was standing on her hind legs and was in the middle of pouring massage oil from a bottle down the front of her body. She laughed at the shocked look on Twilight's face. No beeping, please, Miss Parkel. I'll be ready soon. Please just relax yourself for the moment. Twilight swallowed nervously, but she did as she was told. Her heart was pounding as she heard the clip-clop of Bubbly's hoof-fall on the floor. She came up and lay down full length on top of her, and she gasped at the sensation of the spa pony's oil-covered coat touching her own. It was so soft and yielding, yet behind it the firmness of Bubbly's beautifully toned figure pressed down on her, and Twilight felt like she was being covered and enveloped in an impossibly luxurious pillow. But then Bubbly slowly began to ease herself up and down Twilight's back, smearing the oil between them. With each slide, the spa pony's hot breath trailed up and down from Twilight's neck to her rump, and she bit her lip to stop herself from moaning with pleasure. The sensations going through her body were incredible. Why hadn't Rarity ever suggested that they get a body slide? Was it too expensive? She'd have to check the spa menu later. Soon Bubbly switched positions, turning herself around so that her haunches were on either side of Twilight's withers, and she lay her forelegs along the unicorn pony's hind legs, reaching down to wrap the oil over the sensitive soles of Twilight's hooks, all the while still sliding her royal slick body all over her. But this wasn't relaxing at all. In fact, Twilight was getting tight in a chest, and her whole body felt like it had caught fire from the oil and the heat of the spa pony's rubbing. But it was nothing compared to the feelings that coursed through her body when Bubbly ran her forehooves over her rump and the inner part of her haunches, the slipperiness of the oil, the heat of the breath that was coming out of Bubbly's mouth and pants now, the feeling of the spa pony's haunches squeezing against her withers, the heady narcotic scent of the oil mixed with the sharp scent of Bubbly's coat. As the sensations enveloped her, Twilight senses reeled. Oh, oh, Bubbly, she gasped. I, oh, I think you should stop. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm... It took all of Twilight's concentration to get the words out of her mouth as her mind was fluted with exquisite shots of pleasure. Her horn, lit by the pooling of magical energy that was seeping uncontrolled throughout her body, started to sparkle of its own accord. But Bubbly didn't reply. She was panting as well, and she gave no indication that she was going to stop. But then she got off, and with oily hoofs she flipped Twilight onto her back and lay on top of her again, so that she was sitting with her haunches on either side of the unicorn pony's own. Twilight looked up at her and saw that Bubbly's face was now one of ecstatic abandon, her chest slick with oil, her pink mane sticky with perspiration, her mouth open, her face blushing a deep red. And at the sight, Twilight's horn glowed ever brighter. As Bubbly started to slide in front of her body against Twilight, she rested on her elbows on either side of the unicorn pony's shoulders and brought her face down towards her. Twilight was in ecstasy now, and she barely struggled when the spa pony brought their lips together and kissed her. 
she found herself hugging Bubbly around the chest with her forelegs, involuntarily drawing her body closely against her own, and her hoof slipped up and down the spa pony's body as she continued to slide against her. Their haunches so close together seemed to be fusing together by the blistering sensations that were cursing through them, and Twilight was now so given over to the pleasure, pulsing through her, that she didn't notice that the purple glow flowing down her own horn had been joined by a similar lambent glow from the center of the spa pony's own forehead. Suddenly, Bubbly's rubbing increased in intensity, and Twilight moaned against the spa pony's panting mouth as she felt herself peeking, and the taste and scent of the hot breath coming from Bubbly's mouth drove her over the edge, and she cried out in sheer ecstasy, and at the same precise moment the spa pony did as well, arching her back and crying out, Oh, Twilight Sparkle! Twilight's world was enveloped in purple light as the magic that had been condensing in her horn suddenly exploded out in a flash of brilliant energy. And Twilight felt the waves of pleasure joined with waves of magic spraying out in every direction. Her eyes glowed white hot as she lost herself in a magical ecstasy that she had only experienced two times in her life. Once when she had been a filly taking her entrance exam, and again when she had fought Nightmare Moon with the elements of harmony. But as the pleasure ebbed away, leaving a warm, satisfied glow in her body, so did the magical energy. And when she could see again, she saw that the appearance of the pony lying on top of her had dramatically changed. No longer was she a pink-maned earth pony. Her blue coat had become paler, her waterfall of a pink mane shrinking back to a single arrogant wave of silver, and a horn had appeared on her forehead, still glowing with the last purple apps of magical energy. But the expression on Twilight's partner's face was still one of ecstasy. Her mouth open, tongue partly extended as she panted in pleasure. But when she at last looked down at Twilight and saw the look of shock on her face, her own purple eyes went wide in confusion. Trixie? Twilight cried in horror, slipping her body out from under the blue-coated unicorn ponies. Trixie looked at her forelegs and swept her tail in front of her. And as soon as she saw it, it was silver-blue instead of Publis pink. She yelped as fell and scrambled backwards off the massage table. What? What were you trying to do to me? Twilight demanded in a whisper. She stepped back onto all fours, face to face with the still confused Trixie. Her horn glowing ready against the magical onslaught she was sure would come. But Trixie's look of confusion was quickly replaced by one of haughty indifference. She reared onto her hind legs, but made no move to prepare for battle, but instead began to fastidiously wipe the oil from her chest and forelegs with her hooves. At last she deigned to look at Twilight and grinned, her eyes glittering in derisive humor. So, it seems you have seen through the great and powerful Trixie's intricate allusions, Twilight Sparkle. Trixie smirked. It took you long enough to do so. Perhaps the much-vaunted magical ability of the heroine of Ponyville is slipping? Wha what in Equestria are you talking about, Trixie? demanded Twilight through narrowed eyes. Where's the real bubbly? Oh, she's quite safe, replied Trixie, a bored tone in her voice. <laughs> you might say she's all tied up at the moment, she laughed. But enough of such mundane trivialities. It is time for the great and powerful Trixie to exact her long-awaited revenge. She fell back down onto four legs, her horn beginning to glow as well. Revenge? asked Twilight. Revenge for what? I have never... Trixie's face suddenly darkened in anger. Have you forgotten? Revenge for the humiliation that you wrought upon the great and powerful Trixie, of course. Her lip curled in a disdainful smirk. For upstaging her in front of all those slack-jawed yokels. She has never forgotten how to st you stole the limelight from her twilight sparkle with your fleshy and artless telekinesis. 
So, Trixie has been biding her time since then, watching your every move and waiting for the ideal moment to strike.